That's why I'm always hanging around you. Do I love you? Oh, my, do I? Honey, honey, did I do? This is Nikolai, my cat. He's the one who scratches up this arm, don't you? He likes to play a little bit rough. Only because I stir him up. There you go. You say hello to the people on YouTube. Say hello. Oop, there we go. That's that's how I... Oh, there we go. You're a beautiful little boy, aren't you? What do you think about urban exploring, Nikolai? Me? Just as I thought. Not much. Say good boy. Check this out guys, I just walked, I just drove past this place and I could see this door wide open. I can't believe this place is sitting wide open. Hello? Anyone in here? I'm just trying to get inside so I can speak. It's so noisy. Yeah, I just drove past, saw the for sale sign, and the door was wide open. This place is definitely abandoned. This is a really old place. Check it out. I'm really, really sorry for the noise. It's so loud. This is late 1800s, early 1900s for sure. Okay, this was a business, no cash kept on premises. This was probably last used as some sort of offices. Look at that. That is old. So old. All of the mantles are gone. Look at the woodwork on these doors. See, number two. This is the cornfield. I'm still just trying to gather my thoughts on this place, guys. This is literally a roadside random walk-in. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. There's those classic old wood features in the hallway. And those patterns are late 1800s. That's from the Victorian era, I'm pretty certain. Okay, we've got a. We've got some boy band posters here. Whoa! Rage Against the Machine. Now that's more like it. I think that's ink.
the main living room. It's a shame the mantle's not there. How about these doors? So good. That is a really, really shallow fireplace. I think it's been converted from an old fireplace to having a gas heater in there. Huge windows. Mattress. Coffee. Okay, there's no doubt this was the kitchen area, but it... The toilet and the bathroom obviously were directly off the kitchen. And the old stove. Okay, some guy who will remain nameless got caught for riding bicycle at night without rear red light. And he got a fine for $55 and he got a reminder fee of $53. South Australian Police expiation reminder notice. Coffee. Oh, okay, there's a That's a pretty cool bathroom cabinet actually. The basin and taps are gone. It's a mannequin head. Check it out. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, that's probably someone's actual face. Oh, lift it up. Is that creepy or what? Do you reckon that's someone's actual face? No, it's a little bit too... Let's see if we can check out the backyard. We can walk up the side if we can't get out here. Hang on, we've got the laundry. Nothing left in the laundry. Opens. Got a neighbours over there. Let's take a quick look out here. Obviously they dumped a lot of this, all the mattresses and the room is out here. It's not a huge backyard but it's probably enough for this place. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and close the front door. 
for two reasons. So you can hear me better as I uh, wrap the video up. And the second reason is to make this place not so obvious that it's abandoned. If it does close, there we go. Oh, look, that's probably where someone's punched a hole in and reached up. Oh, at least it's not as noticeable because I noticed that driving past. Okay. What I'm going to do is, obviously without knowing the exact details regarding the date of this place, I'm going to have a go at dating it from what I have seen so far. Now, this sort of woodwork, um, definitely late, in, late 1800s, but also all through up until the 30s, I think. So I'm going to estimate based on what I've seen that this is around 1915 to 1920 and the other reason is because of the electrical work. These switches are wired through the walls and the lights are wired through the ceiling and then down out of the ceiling which means this place was built when electricity was available because when they adapt old houses with electricity, 90% of the time, well, that's an estimate, the wiring runs up through a metal pipe and along the walls and ceilings. So that is my estimate. This place was built around 1920, 1915 and 1920, because that's when electricity came in. And this place is before Art Deco sort of took hold. So based on that, I'm going to say around 1915 to 1920. Obviously, if I have found the details and the facts, this is just a comparison because you would know from the start of the video. All right, in saying that, guys, that is it. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching again. We'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye. Say, boy. Oh, you're a beautiful little boy.